Hi guys, Mark is here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, October 17th, 2023. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific time. This is episode 752 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, Ao Ruipeng's Hero is Back passes review. Zhao Liying and Tan Jianchi sparkle at a De Beers event. Netizens leave unkind comments as Renming is spotted with a director. And fan clubs, including those of Zhao Lusi, Wang Yibo, and Del Raba, release statements to refute rumors. We usually begin with what's recently premiered, but nothing to report for today and yesterday, so we begin with dramas that recently confirmed their premiere dates. Bionic is a sci-fi suspense drama starring Sung Weilong and Vicky Chen, and earlier today they confirmed an October 18th premiere. The drama was first announced in October 2021, and although it took a while to pass review, it got the green light just last month, it's promptly made it to air since. Sun Weilong's last drama to air was A League of Noblemen, which came out earlier this year, whereas Taiwanese actor-singer Vicky Chen's was 2021's Wisher. According to Aichi, in Bionic, Sun Weilong and Vicky Chen are investigators in the year 2023. He is described as level-headed and she as empathetic as they investigate murder cases involving humanoid robots that are indistinguishable from humans. Bionic is slated for 12 episodes and will stream on Aichi. That's it for what's recently confirmed their premiere dates. Moving on, here's what's recently passed review. Hero is Back is a fantasy drama starring Ao Ruipeng, pictured here in the center, Jing Jia on the right, and Zhang Yixi on the left. It passed review and obtained an online record number yesterday. Here is a picture of its three lead actors at the booting ceremony held in October last year. Here they are with their rap bouquets after principal photography ended in January this year. The drama also shared character posters after they rapped. According to Baidu, in Hero is Back, Ao Ruipeng is Cao Yanbing, a descendant of Cao Cao. Zhang Yixi is Xialing, a mysterious guardian spirit. And Jing Jia is Bei Luo Shemen, a former soul-suppressing general. All three embark on a dangerous journey in search of the ancient Luhua Tower. The drama is slated for 24 episodes and will stream on Yuku. Hero is Back is adapted from the comic Rakshasa Street, which was also adapted into the 2017 drama of the same name, starring Wang Dongcheng, An Yuexi, and Russell Tang. Moving on now, Northward officially announced their rap. Northward is an upcoming drama starring Bai Lu and Oh Hao. Yesterday, the drama shared these pictures and announced that the entire cast, which also includes Zai Zilu, Gao Zhiting, and Venda Margraf, had rapped. This marked the end of an approximately four-month film shoot that began in June. Bailu had actually rapped last month. At the time, she posted this to announce it and to share a picture of the lead characters in their youth days. Northward is based on a novel of the same name. In 2019, the novel won a Maotun Literature Prize, which is considered one of the most prestigious in China. Northward follows the lives of three youths and the changes China's Grand Canals go through throughout the decades, from 1900 to 2014. It is slated for 40 episodes and will stream on Aichi. Next up, a bit of good news bad news for Scent of Time, the costume drama starring Zhou Ye and Wang Xinye. We'll begin with the good. Premiering just a few days ago, the drama got off to a good start. They announced yesterday, with this poster, that they had broken 9,000 popularity points on Yuku. However, and this is the bad, netizens pointed out that one of the theme songs in the drama was very similar to one of the ones in Destined, starring Bai Jingting and Sung Yi. On the same day, Scent of Time released this statement to say, We take the issue very seriously and have contacted the music company we outsource to. We have asked them for clarification and we're also doing a detailed self-examination in order to support originality and to protect and respect intellectual property rights we have decided to immediately replace this piece of music in the drama before the final result is available separately the drama's production company head yu cheng shared this post to speak a little about his cast 
On Zhou Ye, Yu Zheng revealed, There were many who wanted to be Hua Qian, but my heart was set on Zhou Ye. I remember watching the movie Better Days and becoming immediately drawn to her face. I met her during the filming of Word of Honor and couldn't help but praise her. I didn't think the gears of fate would turn so quickly and she would really become Hua Qian. On Wang Xingyue, Zhang Yijie, and Zhao Qing, Yu Zheng said that they are actors with the company, and that, quote, signing a child is like them handing their youth over to you. You must be responsible for them until the end, unquote. On Peng Chuye, Yu Zheng said that he spotted him while watching Zhou Ye on a variety show. Quote, I thought the interaction between the two of them was quite good, so I cast him. He was very serious during the filming process, and often discussed the role with the screenwriter, unquote. As I mentioned in my last video, Scent of Time hasn't been made very available to international audiences. Although it is a Yuku drama, it's not on their YouTube channel or on their international app. Some have resorted to unofficial sites to watch it. And that's it for drama updates. Before we get to celebrity updates, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in. So I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell button for notifications. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to parts like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. Alright, celebrity updates now, and today we begin with Zhao Liying and Tan Jianci, who were photographed at a De Beers event. The high-end jewelry brand held an exhibition for their Metamorphosis line in Lijiang City on October 14th. As both stars have October birthdays, there was a little celebration with cake and champagne. As brand ambassador, part of Zhao Liying's activities on the night was modeling some products. Here is the actress who just turned 36 yesterday doing more of that. Here is 33-year-old Tan Jianci who took the stage and gifted everyone a song on the night. The topic Zhao Liying and Tan Jianci in the same frame trended on Weibo. Netizens flooded the topic with comments to praise how good the two looked on the night. Some even clamored for them to do a drama collab. Also spotted a few days ago was Renming. Netizens weren't as kind with their comments, some were downright mean. Renming was the female lead in this year's The Longest Promise, the Xianxia drama with Xiao Chan. She was also the female lead in Ray of Light with Guo Jingfei. According to Sena Entertainment, on October 13th, the 23-year-old actress and director Wan Liang were photographed out and about running errands and then going back to his place. The next day, the two went out to a relative's house together, and in the evening, they held each other's hands as they went for a walk. This sparked romance rumors between the two. It's also been reported that he is the director of an upcoming drama she stars in titled Shooting Stars. On Sena's post, there were over 10,000 comments. The top one says, I clicked on the picture and was shocked. This guy, Little Min, what do you see in him? Another says, it's no less shocking than Sandra Ma's partner. Little sister, what do you see in him? Even if it's talent, he's not a very famous director. Moving on, a bunch of fan clubs recently came out with statements to refute some celebrity rumors. On October 11th, Zhao Lusi's fan club shared this screenshot with a big red fake on it. Apparently, there was a melon spreading that Sword Snow Stride Season 2 was going to begin filming in November, and that Zhao Lusi was going to replace Li Gengxi as Jiang Ni in it. The Melon continues to say that Zhang Ruoyun would finish filming Joy of Life Season 2 at the end of October and then hop on to Sword Snow Strike 2 in November. Zhao Lusi's fan club has called this fake news. And just to follow up on the last bit of the Melon, Zhang Ruoyun has indeed finished filming Joy of Life Season 2. I will cover it in my next video. However, as of yet, I haven't heard anything official about Sword Snow Strike Season 2. Wang Yibo's fan club also released a statement recently. According to Sena Entertainment, recently there was a rumor spreading about a male celebrity wearing a woman's wig and attending a concert with a female companion, and some netizens speculated that the celebrity was Wang Yibo. On October 11th, Wang Yibo's fan club shared this short and concise statement saying, just ridiculous. They added, please do not engage in illegal rumor mongering or make up imaginary and false rumors. 
Jing Tian's fan club also released a statement to say that the actress's account was hacked. According to Sina, some netizens discovered that Jing Tian's account commented on the conflict in the Middle East. It wasn't made clear what platform, presumably it was Weibo. On October 11th, Jing Tian's fan club shared this post to say, Regarding the theft of the artist's account, the studio has contacted the platform to retrieve the account and delete all information that does not belong to her. Please do not spread them. And finally, on October 15th, Del Rabas fan club shared this screenshot with a big red fake on it. It was in response to the topic, Del Raba Johnny Huang second collab. Their message was, it's been confirmed, there are no plans for a second collab. Del Raba and Johnny Huang's first collab was in the 2020 modern drama Love Designer. And that's it for celebrity updates. It also brings us to the end of this episode. Have a great week ahead and I'll see you guys Thursday. As always, stay safe and I wish you clear blue skies, good health and happiness. Until next time, cheers.